In this video, we are going to talk about the incredible homes of the richest CEO. So before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. The term, home, conjures up images of coziness and modesty. For most of us, the warmth and protection we experience inside this place we call home is more important than the scale. For those who are classified as the world's richest CEOs, a house is more than just modesty and utility. Home is a place where those who top lists like Forbes and the most expensive house of CEO in the world can spend the majority of their fortune, afford unimaginable luxuries, and flaunt their wealth. Here's a list of the incredible homes of the richest CEO. Let's begin. Number 5. Bill Gates. The land is currently valued at $127.48 million by the King County Public Assessor's Office. In 1988, Gates paid $2 million for the house. According to public records, it has 7 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms. The house was constructed with 500-year-old Douglas fir trees, and 300 construction workers labored on the home, 100 of whom were electricians. To minimize heat loss, the house makes use of its natural surroundings. Xanadu 2.0 is a earth-sheltered house, meaning that it's built into its surroundings to regulate temperature more efficiently. Situated around the house are $80,000 worth of computer screens. Anyone may make the screens show their favorite paintings or images, which are housed on computers worth $150,000. There is also an underwater music device in the shower. The 60-foot pool is housed in its own 3,900-square-foot structure, as can be seen in the picture above. People in the pool could swim up to a terrace area on the outside by swimming under a glass wall. There are 24 bathrooms in the home, 10 of which are full baths. If Gates were having a big party, those bathrooms will come in handy. Otherwise, it seems to be a little excessive. There are a total of six kitchens. They're located in the house so that workers can be prepared for any situation. The 2,100-square-foot library features a dome roof and two hidden bookcases, one of which hides a counter. Number 4. Jeff Bezos. According to appraiser Jonathan Miller, the Amazon CEO spent around $80 million on three adjacent New York City apartments, making it the most lucrative real estate transaction ever south of 42nd Street in New York. The apartments have a total of 12 bedrooms and 17,000 square feet of living area. He paid $10 million for the property in 1998, according to the Wall Street Journal. The first is a 20,600 square foot, five-bedroom, four-bathroom home while the second is an 8,300-square-foot, 8 5-bedroom, 4-bathroom home that reportedly cost $53 million. With an estimated net worth of $188 billion, Jeff Bezos is the world's richest man, while Mackenzie Bezos is now worth over $57 billion, making her one of the world's wealthiest women. Bezos revealed in February 2020 that he would step down as Amazon's CEO and become the company's executive chairman. Number 3. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, recently purchased a $7 million home in Palo Alto, California. Since he won't be moving in for a few months, the address will remain a tightly guarded secret until the existing inhabitants vacate the premises. A few specifics have emerged, including the fact that the 5,000 square foot house has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and a pool. It's not quite up to Bill Gates' 50,050-square-foot Washington mansion, shown on the left, but it's a good start for a man whose previous residences were all rentals. The expense of Zuckerberg's new home is out of reach for the average person's budget. By the standards of some strong American CEOs, though, it's downright humble. Expensive mansions with 25 baths, four-story guest homes, and sweeping vistas of the Pacific Ocean are home to some of the most powerful executives in the world all visible from a garden dotted with flora cultivated by celebrity botanist David Bellamy. Number 2. Warren Buffett. This is where Warren Buffett, the billionaire, calls home. Located in a peaceful Omaha, Nebraska neighborhood. He paid $31,500 for the building, which would be $250,000 today. It is now estimated to be worth $652,619. It's the third best investment he's ever made, he says. The Omaha home of Warren Buffett is a sign of iconic simplicity. A man with a fortune of $78.2 billion will probably buy a home anywhere in the world. 
He, on the other hand, prefers to live in a small house in Nebraska, where he grew up. That is incredibly lovely, because simplicity is at the heart of beauty. Warren Buffett's home in Omaha, Nebraska is a 6,570-square-foot stucco house with just five bedrooms. He never had any savings because he never felt the need for them. After much begging, the house now has a fence, surveillance cameras, and a security guard. In interviews, he often emphasizes the importance of keeping things easy, and his Omaha home is a model of simplicity. Why hasn't Buffett upgraded his living quarters? He said to the BBC, I'm happy there. If I thought I'd be happier somewhere else, I'd relocate. Number 1. Elon Musk. The listings are a complete 180 from Musk's previous real estate policy, which saw him spend years buying up neighboring mansions in Los Angeles' posh Bel Air neighborhood. Musk explained in a recent interview on The Joe Rogan Experience podcast that he bought neighboring properties due to privacy issues, such as people attempting to enter his primary residence by climbing over walls. According to Business Insider, Musk and companies affiliated with him own at least seven homes worth more than $100 million. In 2010, the Tesla CEO rented the colonial-style home and stayed there with his five sons. He later bought the house for $17 million, though its current valuation is estimated to be $22.3 million. Musk listed it for $30 million for sale by owner on May 3, just days after tweeting that he'd own no home. The house has a total of seven bedrooms and 20,248 square feet of space separated into separate wings. There is also a two-story library on the premises. Musk has purchased two other homes on the same street, including one in October 2013 for $6.75 million. What do you think of our list? Which of the house you like the most? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.